Here's how you can make ink bleed effect here in After Effects. I'm gonna make a new composition and a preset is gonna be 1080p 30 frame per second, five seconds, black background, click OK. For the font, I'm gonna go with Akira Expanded Super Bold. Now let's go to the layer, right click, click on New and select Solid. Make it black, click OK and click OK. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna select the bottom black solid, drag it under the text. I'm gonna rename it as background and the top solid is gonna be the blur comp. And from here, let's go to effects and presets, type in four color gradient, drag and drop it on the blur comp. And here I'm gonna change up the first two color to white and the second one to white. Third one is gonna be black and the fourth one also is gonna be black. Let's go and activate the stopwatch at the point one, two, three, and four. And I can go and bring it to the first second and here we can move the colors around, selecting these dots and dragging them. So I'm gonna arrange all of it. For example, like that, I'm gonna bring it to the second second and arrange it again. You also can press the letter U. So this is going to highlight the keyframes. I'm gonna select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. So it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna collapse this layer and uncheck it. And now I'm gonna go right click and create an adjustment layer. I'm gonna rename this as Ink Bleed. And now we're gonna to go to Effects and Presets, search for Gaussian Blur, and drag and drop the Gaussian Blur on the Ink Bleed. I'm gonna add a little bit of blur. I'm gonna go with like six. Let's go back to Effects and Presets, search for Compound Blur, drag it under the Gaussian Blur. And here we're gonna to go to the Blur layer and change it to Blur Comp, Source, Effects and Masks. And I'm gonna to go to Max Blur, I'm gonna add like 50. So if you hit play, as you can see, it is targeting the blur at the specific areas. And now let's go back to effects and presets, search for CC threshold. Let's drag it under the compound blur. You also can decrease the blur if you want. So this way the text is gonna be more visible. And you also can work on the threshold. If you increase the threshold, it is going to make it thin. And check this out, this is how it's gonna look. So basically I went with compound blur 23 and threshold 210. All right, so from here, what we're gonna need to do is duplicate the ink bleed layer. So I'm gonna select it, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and I'm gonna rename this as blur. And here I'm gonna remove the threshold, the Gaussian blur. And I also wanna make this blur smoother because right now you can see these crossings in here. So I'm gonna go to effects and presets, search for camera lens blur, drag it under the compound blur. Let's go to the blur map layer and I'm gonna change it to blur comp, source, effects and masks. And here all you need to do is go here to the blur radius, increase it, and check this out, now it's smoothened out. I'm also gonna add some noise. Let's search for noise, drag it under the camera lens blur, uncheck use color noise, and increase the noise. I'm gonna go with 15. I'm also gonna decrease the compound blur even more. I'm gonna go with five, hit play, and that's how I make ink bleed effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.